just another quick video. Um, lots of people have asked why I tone my canvases a mid tone brown or grey, why I've toned my painting palette the same type of mid tone colour. And when I use pastels, I generally use a mid tone pastel paper, and they've asked me why. So I wanted to show you how the eye can really trick how you see colours, light colours, and dark colours and the light and the dark tones which makes it very very difficult for you then to select what colour to mix or what pencils in pastel case you need to pick up and select. So I've come into the free Pixlr image editor again I've got a photo here of a bird that I took a while ago and I'm just picking up the brush tool and what, what I've done here first on the right I've just got a, um, a plain sheet and I've put black, white and a mid-tone at the bottom. I want to show you the benefit of that mid-tone. So back to this, I've got the brush tool. If I hold down the control, then where that little cross is in the middle, it becomes an eyedropper, so a colour picker. So if, for instance, I pick this very light part on the side of the face of the bird, and then I click, I've selected that colour, it's down here. If I now go along to this, and put some on the black area. You see how light that looks. If I put it on the white area, you see how dark it looks. They are the same colour. If I put it on the mid-tone grey, which is how I prefer to have my my papers and palette and um, tone my canvas, it's kind of in the middle of the tool. So if I look then at a different area over here, say perhaps this um, bluey white area. If I put that on the black and then if I put it on the white, see how dark it looks on the white and how light it looks on the black. And then if I put it on the grey, you can see again it's in the middle of the tool. And I can do this with you know a few colours, the beak as well. Always looks darker on the white. So you can see it really starts to look quite different and that can be confusing. And wh what I like to do is make things as simple as possible. There's the background, you can see it looks you know, almost black there. If I put it on the white, it looks definitely black. If I put it on the grey, you see it's in the middle of the two. So you can see how the eye confuses the brain on the colours. I'll just pick a couple more. Um, and I find that using a toned canvas or tone paper helps me much more easily choose the correct colours that I need and that's also why when I'm doing paintings and drawings generally you see me work in layers so that I block everything in first that gets the colour quite close and then I can judge and refine those colours much more easily when I do the next layers. So it's a very simple video you could use this color picker as well to pick out colors onto a toned surface so do you know you know the whole array of colors you got for that drawing hope you've enjoyed it see you all again real soon on my tutorial website that's jasonmorgan.co.uk i've got lots of full length videos some up to 8 or 9 hours long i've got ebooks on there as well if you're looking for reference photos because sometimes it's really hard to get very good decent copyright free reference photos you can paint and draw from my website www.wildlifeart-online.com has got about 900 or more photographs on there or perhaps you'd like to join my art community where every month i put up new videos new reference photos new wildlife line art so that's patreon.com forward slash wildlife art love to see you on one of those soon or even here on my youtube channel